Up next, we've got opening remarks from Valentine Van Neuenhausen. Valentine is Chief Investment Officer of NN Investment Partners and Chairman of Management Team Investments. Let's hear from Valentine. Hello, everybody. My name is Valentine van Nieuwenhuizen, and I'm the CIO of NN Investment Partners. NNIP is really pleased and honored to be the headline partner for this great event for the third year in a row. It's the second year we're doing this in a virtual manner, and we all know why that's the case. And I really want to thank Climate Action and UNEP FI for organizing this event again. First of all, I want to reflect a bit on how COVID is influencing the world of responsible investing. Firstly, it has clearly had quite a substantial impact on the social awareness around the theme of sustainability. More and more people in our business, but also the people in our private lives are clearly more explicit on seeking a more purposeful way forward. Clearly, we're also seeing it on the focus of regulators who really have embraced the importance of climate and taking action to mitigate the impact of climate change, the impact of biodiversity, and how we can incentivize more explicitly a sustainable transformation of our economic model. SFDR is the most tangible element of new regulation that will help us with that. It will create some challenges as well, but all in all, it clearly directs the asset management industry in a more sustainable future. In that respect, it is also impressive to see how sustainable finance has grown in recent years. What is most noteworthy of all, maybe, is the amazing appetite that we're seeing around the theme for asset owners and other types of investors, because there's hardly a group of investors that doesn't pay increasing attention to this. That has translated into stronger capital flows into this theme, both in equity and in fixed income markets, than ever before. One of the most clear examples is the exploding green bond market, which just in March of this year reached a new record high of issuance both by corporates and by sovereigns. And although on some elements globalization might be in a retreat, surrounding sustainable finance, it is accelerating faster than ever. And where it used to be centered in Europe, we're really seeing now that Asia, the US, and certainly also Latin America are really embracing this theme. Also important is the remarkable performance that is being delivered both by sustainable business models in the real economy, as well as by sustainable investment strategies. And that helps to build a more sustainable economy. The businesses that work on building a more sustainable infrastructure for the energy transition, or the more sustainable business models in agriculture or fish farming, and what about the transition into cloud computing and storage, which really is important for less energy usage. The businesses have evolved in that direction are clearly the winners of today and most likely will continue to be the winners of tomorrow. Deeply impressive was to see in recent years how the outperformance of strategies that focus on this has really been, uh, been visible. And what is important to emphasize here is that this is really an active game, almost by definition, because these type of transformational shifts that are running through our economy and thereby through our capital markets are hardly ever captured by a passive investment style. The importance of a focus on climate and how we as NNIP integrate this into our daily business cannot be emphasized enough. We aim to be a thought and practice leader in responsible investing. We share our thoughts and our solutions on the theme as openly and as transparently as possible. 
For example, by publishing an annual responsible investment report. And by putting our responsible investment expertise into practice in the way we manage our portfolios. This is done by identifying new opportunities, more sustainable opportunities that also generate more alpha. And clearly also in the way we manage future risks, new risks, climate risks. And we evidence this by a very strong and persistent performance of all our sustainable strategies since inception that we launched them. And this holds for fixed income, equity and multi-asset products. And we clearly lead the asset management industry on providing next generation impact strategies. For example, in green bonds, but certainly also our thematic equity impact strategies lead the way. Some other really important aspects that I would like to mention here is the intense focus on integrating ESG factors into our asset management. We currently have about 74% of our AOM fully integrated and we aim to bring that number up to 80% by 2023. A big help and a unique help is our proprietary ESG lens that we have developed for both corporates and for sovereigns and which we uh, intensively use and leverage alternative data and artificial intelligence to get full coverage of the uh, domain that we capture. The sustainable and impact range of strategies that we have really put capital to work to steer our economy into a more sustainable future. In our belief around responsible investing, it is also critical to look at this in an inclusive way, in an inclusive dialogue. And therefore we are very active in engagement for which we had more than 1200 dialogues in 2020 alone. But also by voting, we had voted at more than 3,000 meetings in 2020 on more than 35,000 items. Let me also reference to the various themes that will run through the forum. Obviously, the shape and timing of the post-COVID recovery. The delayed vaccination rollout still has a lot of questions around the timing, but it is pretty clear to everybody that we are entering into a new type of recovery, a more sustainable type of recovery. A big element in shaping that new way of the economy going forward is what is set by regulations. I already referred to SFDR, but there is more regulations also at a local level that are important to take into account. It will help our industry to move in the right direction, but clearly it will also create some challenges for all of us to manage the complexity and to align all these different sets of regulations into a coherent approach. Important in this respect is also the increased role of women in responsible investing and diversity in general. And would like to emphasize that it is clearly broader than gender alone. In the end, diversity and inclusion is also about a diversity of thinking and a diversity of backgrounds, both culturally and educationally. With respect to the latter, I would therefore certainly invite all of you to listen in to one of our leading ladies on the topic, Edith Sierman, who will speak later at the conference and who will provide clear insight how we are putting climate leadership into practice when we think about ESG integration in sovereign markets. It is really important that we have a unique way and a better way and a more evidence-built way to do the engagement with sovereigns. So please join Edith when she speaks about the topic Tuesday 20th of April 1305 BST. As NNIP we really want to put capital to work to inspire a sustainable transformation in our economic system to bring that system into a better, better balance with our planet. Thank you all so much for your attention. 
have a lot of new insights, new learnings, and most of all, a lot of fun at the Sustainable Investment Forum. Thank you very much. Valentine, thanks so much. Uh, beautiful, absolutely fantastic beginning, those opening remarks to this forum. So much said. It's so encouraging to hear that we're seeing stronger capital flows into this theme, into the sustainable finance theme than ever before. An example of that is the exploding green bond market. Look at what's happening regionally, Asia, US, Latin America. They're really embracing this theme now. We're seeing an outperformance of sustainable finance strategies, which has really been visible. And Valentine stressed this is an active game. And it was a wonderful end there when he said that there's an increasing role Role for women in responsible investing and in diversity in general. And it's diversity in thinking and it's diversity in backgrounds as well. We're entering into a new recovery, he said, that's more sustainable, more regulation, yes, is coming, particularly at a local level. We, level. we need a coherent approach. That was the message from Valentine Van Nieuwenhausen from NN Investment Partners. Big thanks to Valentine. Okay, let's move it on. So much more to come in today's forum. We've got more insights from NN Investment Partners will be shared throughout the forum. Looking very much forward to those. Let's move on to the next session.